Hello everybody, welcome to this week's tutorial in Affinity Photo. We're going to have a look at the eyes this week, we're going to recolor them. I've got one little trick to show you to really enhance the eyes. So we're going to go from here to here and it's really very easy. So first of all let's get rid of what we've already done here. We'll start from scratch. Once again everybody I'm using a photo from Unsplash. You can uh, check them out, I'll put a link below. Great, uh, lots of stock photos for you to practice on. Okay, let's get started. As usual everybody we are going to start by duplicating our layer with command J on the keyboard, control J if you're using a Windows computer. And the next thing we are going to do is come down here to our adjustments and we are going to go to curves and we're going to add a curve adjustment. This is going to look pretty strange because we're going to brighten this picture all the way up to about here, about where we want it. And as you can see that picture is way too bright. So let's invert that, command I on our keyboard and just invert that adjustment. So now it's behind the photo. Okay, from here, what I want to do is zoom right in onto those eyes quite a bit. So I'm going to zoom really, really close. I'm going to hit the space bar on my keyboard just to bring those eyes down a little bit. We'll do one eye at a time. We've got our brush. You can get your brush by hitting B on the keyboard or you can come over here to the tool panel on the left hand side and pick your brush. We have got our opacity set to 100%. We've got our flow really quite high. I might bring that down to about 50% and our hardness set at zero. Okay, so here we go. Now this is going to look a little bit strange to start off with with but bear with me. I'm going to get sort of very small brush. What I'm going to do is starting from the center here, I'm going to start brushing out from the center. I've got my brush set to white. So here we go, sort of from the center, but only on the white bits here. I'm going to start drawing in lines. Now you think, what? is going on. Bear with me, it is going to all make sense in the end. So I'll just pause the video here while I do this. Okay guys, I've drawn my lines all around on both eyes, as you can see. I'm going to make the brush a little bit bigger now. I'm just going to fill in with a bit of a bigger brush all the way around. Again, you're probably still thinking, what is going on here? It's okay, you'll see it very soon. Remember if you make a mistake, X on your keyboard, back to painting in black and just paint it out if you think you've made a mistake. And we'll just go over and quickly do the same to this eye, just filling it in there a little bit, a little bit bigger brush, go around the eye there. Again, if you think you've made a mistake, X on your keyboard and just paint it back Okay, let's zoom out a little bit, straighten that up a bit there. Now let's have a look. I'm going to come over here to the blend modes and I'm going to go soft light and you can see the difference there already. Really enhances those eyes, but it's still pretty strong. So what I'm going to do is bring that down probably to about 30, 30% at the moment. Let's have a look. Okay, so it's just sparkled those eyes a little bit more. Okay, so let's get on now to coloring the eyes. So I'm going to zoom back in again, just so I can see both eyes. I'm going to come to my background layer here, and I'm going to do another layer, duplicate another layer, Command J on our keyboards. Coming back down here to the adjustment layers, and this time I'm going to hit recolor. So here we go, click on recolor, and as you can see, the whole photo's gone red, which we don't want. So let's do our invert again, command I on the keyboard, put that red color behind. We've still got our brush. Let's bring the flow of our brush all the way up to 100% now. Hardness zero, still the opacity at 100. And we're just gonna paint in the eye now. Make sure we're painting white up here in our color. We've got our brush, we can make our brush a little bit bigger. And just from the black part or the iris part of the eye, I'm just going to brush out. Find this the easiest way until we've covered the whole eye. Try to avoid everyone this catch light area here. You see this little square here, which is the catch light. That's the light coming into the eye. As I said, we're just gonna brush it in just on the white parts of their eyes. I might just pause it again here while I do this and come back to you. I'll do both eyes and then come back. Okay, as you can see, I've painted in both eyes. I've avoided these little catch light areas on the eyes. So we just come down here to our recolor panel. By the way guys, if that is not here, just double click on your recolor adjustments. That will bring this panel back up again. So I'm going to slide this slider down. We're going to do blue eyes today. You can do whatever color eyes that you like. So I'm just going to bring this slider up until I get to the blue. Fairly intense. I'm going to bring the saturation down a tiny little bit. And we don't need too much lightness there. Again, I'm going to come up to the blend mode. I think I'm going to use the color 
blend mode and I'm going to bring the opacity right down again probably all the way just so I can see that color Let's see if we can get a bit more blueness into them there we go up the saturation a little bit okay I think I'm pretty happy with that guys I'm going to zoom out just so you can get the full effect and let's have a look at what we've done so if we come over here to our curves adjustment they're all the the white sparkly bits that we've put back into her eye turn those on and off as you can see it's very subtle but it just brightens those eyes up a little bit and then the color adjustment gone from here to here and I think that looks pretty natural again if you think it's too much just click on the adjustment that you want to just reduce the opacity on we could even go probably down to 30 and it's still looking fairly realistic there we go very subtle and guys that's how to get really amazing eyes in affinity photo it's very quick it's very easy i know the professional retouchers can go a lot further and do a lot more enhancements this is just a quick and easy way to get amazing eyes in affinity photo if you like this tutorial please give it a thumbs up please consider subscribing to my channel and until next week everyone i will say to you be brave go out and do something amazing and i'll see you in the next video